Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a book review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you have chosen to spend some time with me. My name is David, like I said, and uh, today is Friday. Today is Friday and a while back, I promised that every Friday I would review a different magic book from my shelf. And so far, I have kept my word and I got another great book for you today. Actually, two books, two books. And so, uh, yeah, I love magic. I love magic tricks. I love reviewing magic tricks. That's what I do here. I review magic tricks, I review playing cards, and I do giveaways all the time. Gonna do a big Halloween giveaway this month. Uh, gonna do the giveaway partially on uh, YouTube and then also over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me in both places to take part in both contests. There's gonna be a different prize on each social media platform. Today we're gonna look at Constant Fooling 1 and Constant Fooling 2 from David Regal. And during this video, I'm just gonna show you footage of David Regal performing and or just show you pictures from the book, because obviously there's no trailer. I can't show you a trailer, uh, but you don't wanna just watch my talking head. So I figured I'd just show you some magic from David Regal while I talk. And if you don't know who David Regal is, he is a magician, television writer, and he's a creator of effects for a lot of different magicians. His background though is in live comedy. He was actually a member of the stage troupe Chicago City Limits. And when he moved to, out to LA, he started writing. So if you guys remember Nickelodeon uh, Rugrats, he used to write episodes for that. He's written some scripts for a couple of different sitcoms, including uh, a good portion of scripts for Everybody Loves Raymond. Most of us know him for his genius magic effects. Most magicians can't praise him high enough, and I know his routines are performed all around the world. These are two great books, two great books. Look him up on YouTube, watch him perform. David Regal is great at scripting and routining and putting tricks together. He is not just a performer. He knows how to uh, include his audience members, you know, so they feel like they're a part of what's happening. And I think this book, these two volumes, Constant Fooling, this is a fantastic, uh, not only investment for you, but it's just a, a great example of patter and working that dialogue into tricks. These books contain tons of strong material, plus the books also double as a masterclass in both performance and Patter. Constant Fooling 1, what's in this book? Volume 1 contains a collection of powerful card magic, all using unprepared decks of cards, just like regular off the shelf, no, there's no gas, there's no gimmicks. He's gonna cover cups and balls from his Magic Castle act, and then he has a whole chapter devoted to other close-up tricks that don't use cards or coins. Volume 1 is 232 pages. All right, Constant Fooling 2, what's in this book? Uh, Constant Fooling 2? has an assortment of unique card tricks. Now these are all gaff cards or altered cards uh, or gaff decks. He's got some mental tricks in here as well. You're gonna find bill tricks, coin tricks, and a standout card routine that tells a terrific story. This book is 239 pages. Now, if you're gonna ask me between the two volumes, what are some of my favorite tricks? Uh, one of my favorite tricks is called a magic lesson, wherein a magician teaches your spectator how to do the famous card to pocket routine. And while you're teaching them, you're actually exposing a magical secret. You're exposing a magical secret, but the joke is that while you're exposing it, your spectator doesn't even believe you. They don't believe you that that's how you're doing it. And that's, I think that one is just a testimony to David Regal's brilliance and humor, really. Uh, there's another one in there called Journey to Love. That's a huge stage routine. It involves keychains and this huge like uh, easel on stage that has a list of all these different hotels. And then uh, Caught in the Act. Caught in the Act is great because it's one where a spectator's card gets trapped in a mouse trap. Totally creative. And then there's another trick called the card that can't be found. So the spectator gets a card, they return it, and then you continue to find the card, but you don't. You keep finding the three of hearts over and over and over again. There's even some tricks in these books that are actually contributions from other magicians. And there's a trick in there called thinking it over. Thinking it over is an R. Paul Wilson routine, and it's a traveling cards effect that kills, kills. 
All right, so what's the skill level on this? You gotta be knuckle buster or is this like beginner level stuff? I would say it's a happy in the middle. It's a nice intermediate. I say you, you know how to do some card stuff, you know how to do some coin stuff, you do close-up magic. Like you, you're a close-up magician. You have a good understanding of the basics. So I think this is a good intermediate level series. And kind of like what I was saying, uh, Constant Fooling Volume 2 has a bunch of tricks that involve gaffs and gimmicks and gaff decks, which I think is one of the things that drew me to this set. I mean, I think there are purists. There are, there are definitely card magician purists that only love you know, borrowed decks or standard decks, and they don't want to use gimmicks or gas or at, at all. They don't use double backers, double facers, nothing, right? And so this set has that. But then for some of uh, us who like a good gaff trick every now and then, uh, David Regal throws those in. And it's nice, because I think a, a lot of times us as magicians, we collect a lot of these gaff cards, and then we're like, what do I do with all these gaff cards? Like, you know, we just save them thinking we're gonna use them one day. And David Regal tells you what to do with them. And I would say if you already have some of David Regal's DVDs that teach some of his stuff, I don't think you're gonna find a lot of crossover. I think there's probably eight or so tricks between these two books that are also on some of his other DVDs. So you already have his DVDs. I think you're still gonna find new material here. You're definitely gonna want these books, especially if you're a fan of David Regal or if you've always wanted to be. And I think right now at Penguin, each book is roughly $30 and you get way more than $30 worth of material. Sometimes you can buy a DVD for 30 bucks and maybe only get 10 tricks. So this is a master class, like I said, from one of the most brilliant, funny, talented minds in magic. This is, this is a definite must buy, at least it was for me. Um, and the, just the way I see it is, you know, you could spend that money on something else and not get your money's worth. And then with this, you really do get your money's worth. Books are a great investment. Books are a great investment. You need a magic library in your house, on your shelf, if you plan on doing this full time or even part time, or if you're just serious about studying, you need to start collecting a series of magic books. All right, so that's everything I can say about these two great books. Say everything I can about David Regal and how awesome he is. Uh, I know you can still find these books for sale. I know you can still find these books online. I got mine from penguinmagic.com and I would suggest if you purchase yours, you would head there as well. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. I'm gonna tell you, I've been at the Magic Castle uh, working for about, and I'm not lying, 20 years. Wow. That's nothing for some people. The uh, 1960s, they were here doing tricks. The same tricks, which is odd. Uh, <laughs>